In action earlier this month, U.S. Marine Corps jets unleash a heavy bomb attack on Hill 861 near Khe Sanh, South Vietnam. Hills 881 North and 881 South are in the background as Marine Corps jets of the 1st Marine Air Wing come in fast and low to drop conventional and napalm ordnance in support of the ground forces. On the day before this film was taken, pilots from the wing flew more than 150 sorties in support, and throughout the 12-day battle that followed, more than 1,500 tons of air ordnance were delivered in assisting the Marines to take the high ground. Marines of G Company, 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines, are shown here moving toward the high ground in the early phases. Action began on the high ground to the front when an enemy force struck a small unit of Marines just east of Hills 881 North and 881 South. However, once it was determined that the North Vietnamese forces were located on the high ground in strength, it became imperative for the Marines to drive them off these strategic points. At Fubai, Marines of E Company, 9th Marines, loaded out to reinforce the troops near Khe Sanh. Earlier, another airborne reinforcement had been completed when a Marine rifle battalion was lifted into Khe Sanh by helicopters and C-130 transports. The first reinforcing unit, the 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines, commanded by Lieutenant Colonel E.R. DeLong, had moved quickly into the high ground to maintain pressure against the enemy. Colonel DeLong's battalion had been called away from a special landing force operation which it had been conducting just south of the DMZ near the coast. The troops loading out here will take part in one of the most significant actions on May the 4th, when E-29 brought in to replace a hard-hit company from the 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, engaged an enemy platoon and all but wiped it out by killing 16 enemy and probably putting another 30 out of action. The operation against Hills 861 and 881 built rapidly after the first contact on 861 and within hours, reinforcements, including those flown in from Fubai to Khe Sanh, joined a small force of riflemen and artillery observers. On the following day, a command group from the 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, landed at Khe Sanh. Moving into position, these Marines fought more than three hours against automatic weapons and the fire of heavy mortars before their automatic weapons and the power of their supporting artillery and other supporting arms overpowered the enemy. With the rapid buildup putting two battalions in action above the Quezon Valley, a day was spent in patrolling and planning, and then the two battalions attacked the hill 861. Resistance was sporadic following the heavy artillery preparation, and the hill was in Marine hands by nightfall. As the bombardment continued, it became apparent that the enemy had pulled back to concentrate his defenses on the twin peaks of 881 South and 881 North, which overlooked the Marines on hills 861, just three kilometers from the higher terrain. Marines quickly consolidated their positions on 861 and continued hammering the two 881 hills with artillery and airstrikes. Throughout the 12-day action, well over 18,000 rounds of artillery were fired in support of Marine units and over 1,500 tons of aviation ordnance were dropped by Marine pilots flying A-4, F-8 and F-4 jet aircraft, including general purpose and napalm bombs. Following a day of extensive airstrikes and a night of effective artillery bombardment, the Marines continued their battle toward the top of 881 North and 881 South against what was now estimated to be a reinforced enemy regiment. The battle for Hill 881 North and 881 South continued for four days, and the Marines spent two additional days mopping up on both hills. The battle for the three hills above the Quezon Valley cost the Marine units involved 138 dead and 397 wounded, of which no more than 270 required medical evacuation. 
By this time, indications were clear that the Marines had defeated two well-equipped North Vietnamese Army regiments. The action was a continuation of that which had been going on in this area just below the demilitarized zone since early summer of 1966, when Marines defeated the 324th D Division of the North Vietnamese Army in Operation Hastings. Other such pitch battles have been fought in the same general areas in a series of continuing prairie operations. Lieutenant General Lewis Walt, commander of the 74,000 Marines in I Corps, has pointed out that since the Tet Truce in February, his Marines and Arvin forces have thwarted seven communist planned offensives in the northern I Corps area. While the Triangle of Hills above Quezon remains firmly in Marine control, operations to seek out the enemy in this northern portion of South Vietnam continue.